Good morning, everyone. Uh, hope everybody's having a great week. Uh, we're about to hit the weekend. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to invite a few people. We're about to do a biomagnetic pair therapy session. Uh, this is going to be a basic detox. Um, and uh, same thing that we do a lot of times with people. We start them off with the top 10 detox. We uh, strengthen the function of the liver, the pancreas, the gallbladder, uh, the kidneys, the lungs, uh, the bladder, and the intestines, uh, large and small intestine, especially uh, the sigmoid colon. And uh, we help the body to um, detoxify, to get rid of toxins in the body. And then we follow that up with an ionic foot bath detox, uh, which is uh, what we're going to do uh, after the biomagnetic paratherapy session. So if you guys will forgive, forgive me, I'm going to leave the view of the camera very shortly because I am going to get my robe and um, my lab coat and some other things that I'll need for this therapy session. Looking for your resonance. I mean, I found it. And uh, was surprised. All right, what we're going to do first is a uh, meridian cleanse. We're going to cleanse your governing meridian. Uh, basically, we're going to interrupt the connection between the mind, where the emotions begin, and the body where emotions are stored. Okay. Yes. So just relax. Give yourself permission to release any negative emotions. Lie back with your ankles off the edge. Okay, put the shoes down. Yes. Yeah, I think 
Facebook. If you don't? No, no. Uh, figure out face, face. Face up. Relax everything. Okay. So we're going to put a positive here on your thymus gland, okay, to get rid of E. coli bacteria. Raise your butt up off the bed, raise your seat up, raise your whole butt. Pick up your butt. Oh, like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, now sit down. There we go. Now that is for your colon, and that's for viruses in the colon. Okay. And where is your navel? Right here. This is a negative unipolar. This is to release stem cells. I am guessing what is something here. Because always when I eat or something after I I, I am driving and moving, 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 moving. Uh -huh. Much better with the gas come on. Okay. So mm -hmm. Column, they check it. And they found, found it like a year ago or oh, three years ago, two polyps, and they cut them out with small ones. Did they did they uh, test your amylase level uh, with uh, with your blood? Uh, amylase. When they test your blood? This is... Uh, amylase is released by the pancreas. I, the pancreas sure. releases amylase and lipase. And if you drink um, during your life, do you smoke or drink? I'm not smoking. You're not smoking? Have you smoked before? Uh, uh, I was. Years like, ago. That's okay. It doesn't uh, matter how maybe, long ago. Yeah. You know, how many years ago? 50 years ago? Yeah, yeah, no problem. I just asked because I'm going to put magnets here and here in the subclavial region because that affects the throat, that affects the circulation to the throat. And if you have any toxins or cancer that's trying to just trying to free itself, this is what it needs right here. Okay. All right. Now we're going to take these magnets for your adrenal and kidneys. Okay. And the same thing for the adrenal and kidney on the other side. That's why it was important to use the restroom beforehand because it's going to make you, it's going to fill up your bladder. Okay. So yeah. If I need to go, I need to go, yeah? Yeah, it's no problem. Oh, okay. No problem. Okay. So now we're going to do the liver, one of the most important pairs. been done before acupuncture also. really I feel it looks like I'm there with what they put the nails you know yeah yeah that was okay well we involve some of the same uh, some of the same techniques or some of the same principles that's why I did the meridian cleanse right okay pancreas all right now the bladder We're all managing chi, right? Biomagnetism as well as uh, acupuncture. But this is originally come from where? Huh? Or originally uh, come from electrons. <clears throat> electrons, but Electron. I mean uh, the street. Oh, uh, I think it was Dr. Richard Boringmeyer who first 
understood the relationship between humans and magnets in the modern time. And then he shared his work with Dr. Isaac Goyes Duran, who is a Mexican doctor and scientist who uh, is, is ultimately uh, my trainer. And Dr. Goyes put together this very elaborate system of understanding exactly what pairs what affect what in the body. No, I also did not have the adjust the right way because you know some uh, tell you about the uh, acupuncture. I got it. Imagine that because it was close to my house. I come to the house and imagine that I was feeling much more worse. I was there, and I called him back. I come back. He put the nails back, and I was fine. Really? Yes. That's his kind of story. What I believe it. For. <laughs> Yes, yes. Yeah, see. Well, we can tell. I mean, you, you, eventually, you. that's why I was pulling on your feet, because I was doing a muscle test. Okay. And uh, you can tell if the body responds with tension, uh, meaning that there's a problem, right? Um, your, your heart is on the left side of your body, right? Yes. So the left side of your brain is going to be larger than the right. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. Though. Because the left side receives more blood, right? The left side of your brain controls the right side of your body, and the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body. So when I find a pathogen and your body excites itself, the right leg is going to appear to shorten compared to the left. Oh, really? Yes, sir. And that's our diagnostic procedure. And I can actually find pathogens using a magnet, like I'm doing right now, or I can muscle test your body simply by speaking to your body. Yeah, I was muscle. I lost a lot of power. I used to be for men. I was for like three years. I was looked like somebody was on my chest. Mm. And I was working every day like that. And all day I was working. I come back home, I was fine. I slept overnight and get exhausted again. Mm. That's his kind of story. I got experienced that. Mm. This was, oh shit, eight years like that. Wow. And I was guessing, okay, I come 60, probably everything lay away. That's why I'm trying. <laughs> okay. Now, how does that feel? Normal. Feels normal. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you something else. Hold on. from the CBD? No. Not yet, huh? no. See, because I can drink alcohol, so uh, for yeah, me, yeah. you know, I need to maybe full shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we can <laughs> it's not some people who... Yeah. <laughs> yep, I have a tolerance too. Okay. Which makes sense. It makes sense, yeah. yeah. Because, you know, some people will be something like that, driving by the car, and going to be uh, out of the road, you know? <laughs> no, no, yeah, pass it up. This is a sort of meditation setting. Oh, some light coming. Mm -hmm. I have to watch it? No, you can close your eyes. Oh, okay. Close your eyes and relax. You're going to hear some sounds. You're going to feel a little um, on your ears, a little tension on your ear clips. And just relax. It's going to change rhythm. All right. And now that they're in place, we have to leave them in place until 12 o'clock. Okay. Because it has to be 
at this distance from the equator, they have to be in place for about a half hour for the treatment to be effective. If we were at the equator, it would take 10 minutes. If we were in Canada, it would take an hour. Oh, I see. That's good. Oh, so that uh, means is like the control of the cosmos? It has to do with the magnetic field of the Earth. Oh, I see. It's because the Earth is flat, you know, in, in an ellipse. Um, at the, uh, at the, the equator, there's much more movement beneath the surface, beneath the crust of the Earth. Of the of molten lava and magma, so there's the magnetic field is stronger, mm -hmm. you know. And then here we have places like Joshua Tree and uh, in Sedona, Arizona, where there are uh, magnetic vortexes. Oh, Sedona is uh, beautiful over there. Yes, it is. Especially the colors and the. Uh, I've been there. Sedona is nice, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're building a resort in Joshua Tree. Uh, Joshua Tree, I am. I mean, once or twice a year, and sometimes we camp over there, or oh yeah, or, or you know, just driving up on the flowers. Yeah, it's nice, huh? Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, I, I want to build a glamping site, glamour camping, where you you put the big permanent tents with the pole in the middle, you know, big giant tents. Oh, looks like the pyramid. Yeah, like a pyramid, and and and, and you could put here uh, heaters inside and. Air conditioners and little refrigerators, so it's you know, glamour camping. Yeah, a bed and a sofa. Because you know, there from there you can see every star in the sky at night. Yes, it's beautiful, especially at night, like you say, the on fire and everybody goes sleep. I am sitting still with you know a little some drink and I was watching the stars. Stars, yeah, it's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, especially uh, lucky uh, things sometimes happen because the star is, looks like flying down. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. I would love to buy a telescope out there. Imagine. Uh, about the telescopes, uh, two, two months ago, first time I was in San Diego era, uh, we was in camp. And over there, they have an observatory. And they have the telescopes. It's three telescopes over there, if you'd like to know. And, and this is a really interesting place. And it's open to the public. You can go for free look over there. In San Diego? Yes, San Diego era. I would love to see to it. Like Oceanside to the left of the mountains. Mm. And it's this place over there. Que tal voices? Oh, it looks funny. It does, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, I'm working 
in place of zoo, we have sometimes we miss cut, we have fans on non stop because it's no AC. Also, you feel the noises like, oh, finally you come home and oh, relax. Oh, yes. <clears throat> it's possible with this actually body become the there's a like the unbalance because I call it balance. If you have balance, you're different. And this happened because I was somewhere or maybe fly or I don't know. It could be the accumulation of acidity because everything that's good is acidic, it seems like, right? Sweet things, sugar, coffee, sodas, meat, smoking is very acidic. I mean, everything that we seem to enjoy lowers our pH. Oh, the toxic. Yeah, it lowers our pH and, you know, we need ionization. We need to uh, fill our body with negative ions, either by grounding. Grounding is a good way to do it. Oh, good point. I put the one wire in my bed to the ground. Yes. That's what finally, yep. I don't know, it was nothing different. I disconnected. Well, you also, you also can get a mattress cover that has uh, got negative uh, pole magnets on it. Um, there are pulse electromagnetic field energy devices that you can purchase that uh, you can lie down on and um, recharge your body with a negative uh, charge. And what you're about to do after you finish this session of biomagnetism is uh, a session of um, ionic foot bath detoxification. And that's going to fill your body with negative ions, too. Okay. But, like I said, you have to drink a lot of water today. No, no problem. Okay. But you said you analyze water also. Uh, are you drinking different water? No, as uh, long as you're hydrating yourself. I'm not necessarily a fan of all of the funky waters. You know, I, I try to drink um alkaline water for a while and uh to be honest that's not a good idea because your digestive system should be acidic exactly you know to digest your food and if you and if you're um drinking alkaline water you're neutralizing your stomach acids and in inhibiting your body's ability to digest your food properly Hi, Jackie. Good morning, may I help you? Very well. Yes, how are you? Yeah, yeah, briefly, briefly. Um, if you could send them via email, it would be better because I'm not really good at looking at websites on the phone. It doesn't. Okay, yeah, I'll text it to you. I'll reply to your text with my email address and then you can send it to there.
Wonderful. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Hey, Clint. So your body is going to be detoxifying for the next four days. So just take it easy over the weekend, right? Relax, drink water. You're probably going to have uh, a desire to eat solids or vegetables and fruits because uh, the treatment is going to make your body more alkaline. Oh, so you make me a veggie guy. Well, remember, cancer cannot grow in an alkaline environment. Cancer requires an acidic environment to grow. Oh. See, I am not vegetarian. I eat everything. I eat meat too, man. I eat steak, fish, everything. Chicken. Yeah, I'm an omnivore as well. So, you know, even when I, like, for, for example, I'll detox myself and go and get a rotisserie chicken and some broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots and just eat vegetables just eat you know eat that uh with the chicken you know or with beef or whatever that meeting fat is important right the brain needs fat exactly so i have two doctors and they one is vegan uh, she become vegan and the other is vegetarian skinny and weak and uh, i'm <laughs> so surprised because you know what no, I am just joking, but okay, we're gonna have a Christmas or something and we can see each other. What are you gonna prefer for me to eat? Well, yeah, they're gonna have to come to your house and, and just eat the salad. <laughs> yes, exactly, yeah, but oh, that's, you know, when you're physically strong, you need to eat the meat to be burning that, you know? Absolutely, absolutely, you need that protein. using the magnets and you know what's happened to me about like I was telling you uh, years ago like my energy go down and I was uh, because I am holding a magnet in my pocket to pick up some you know screw or something to take it up and I was using a like hard uh, side left side in my pocket and after that I switched to the right and, ah. uh, I'm not sure this was any helping or not, but still I'm holding right side. <laughs> Another question is because I hear uh, about if you try to detoxic your body, something is better doing when it's full moon. Why is that like that? Because the uh, well, I don't know if it's better, but I do know that if you have any intestinal parasites, that um, they are going to bury themselves in your liver to lay eggs when the moon is full. As disgusting as that sounds. But moon helps for that. Yeah, the, the full. I, I, but I don't know if I don't know. I really don't know if it's a. Uh, better. I didn't know that. I'll, I'll do some research on that and find out. I heard that from some people from Poland when they use uh, uh, natural uh, herbs to uh, relieve your uh, no, body. So they was telling you what naturopath, you know, yes. Yes, better start to detoxify your system is full moon. Okay. I am calling is devil coming or what? <laughs> <laughs>
I, for example, for me, full moon, I doesn't like it. No, it's too much light, man. That's when all of the crazies come out. <laughs> I like that, but I feel looks like sometimes, you know, was for me to sleep because I sleep okay. I wake up once a night to make a pill like three, three in the morning. I always watch the clock. Three, three, three. I wake up and, you know, I pee, come back. But it will be normal. It will be changed what we are actually doing. After, like you said, a couple of days, uh, should be go away. If I will be sleep all night, I will be not wake up, which was happened last two weeks, twice. I had gone to the restroom, which I was say, oh, Jesus, something, something is good. Yes. Let's see. Because this week I have vacation. Also, that's what, see, I'm actually uh, trying <coughs> to come and prepare my time Vacation time off work, or you're actually of going? Work. Okay, work. okay, yeah. From Monday to uh, Sunday, I will be completely without work. Nice. Is, you know, that's good. Sound, but actually, I collecting it. Beep, 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 beep. Looks like you're flying by the plane and don't stop. You have the you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Flying to Europe, man, 11 hours. Don't stop you hearing that. You know that. Oh, I've, I've uh, I, I was living in Spain from 1984 to 1988, and uh, yeah, it was incredible. Spain is beautiful. Oh, Spain is beautiful. There. Oh, I loved it. Spain. But the Germans go to the Spain for the Mallorca, yes? Oh, yeah. And they enjoy it with their life. Looks like they have a, a Hawaii over there. Oh, it's very nice. I loved it in Spain. A different type of life, yes? Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> A different type of life, you know? You're going to die anyway. You might as well enjoy your life, enjoy your family, spend the best time of the day with your family. And no, because you never know what is tomorrow. You never know. You never know. And you know, they, they, they're, they're, they're very uh, grounded and very culturally evolved as far as that's concerned. My oldest son still lives there. Oh, he's there? Mm-hmm. Okay, he like it? Oh, he loves it. Yeah. Try to get him to come back here. Did you hear about the problem Bolerios? Boleriosa? Who's that? This is like sometimes you are in the forest or somewhere and or camp and you camp in the bushes and some bug come and bite you. Really? And uh, of course they 
tight to go in your body. Can pull that out. Dogs have it or animals. And one time we have a situation, my youngest daughter was visiting some friends at party. And we come back home and she complained about something itchy on the back. Huh. And my wife took her clothes out and man was really back eating going inside the body. Really? Also, you know, right away we go to the like a parasite type of animal. Yeah, and uh, we go to the emergency room and they pull out that what this Sanavagana do in because you know they know this is actually they call bullery oscillator and they make you shut also it's now infected. But bullerial symptoms is on your body, if you doesn't know, can stay and <clears throat> after three, five years, wake up and it's biting. What? Oh, yes. That many years inside your body? Yes, sir. And they're going to be waiting for your moment of your life when you uh, power or will be When you're weak, weak, right. When, when you're, you're old. Weak. And jumping to you and you're not eating you. But this is bullerials. And I was concerned about that because in Europe, some doctor, she had a daughter. And the daughter was complaining about not enjoying life, doesn't want to learn. So, but she was always active. And finally, she was looking everywhere. And somebody was telling her she had a polyrios problem. Good morning, may I help you? No, it's just robocalls. These robocalls are crazy. Yeah. And the doctor never believed it for that. And you know what she started doing? Study. And she started to checking her blood. You know how many tests of the blood should be done when finally she found it, this virus and the, the bacteria in it? What? For the fourth time. Wow. She found it. Also, when she found it, she opened cabinet about that and she against all doctors she survived her daughter the daughter is fine and she helped her that's what see i come about the bio uh, the test but i like to know maybe i have it in my body a long time ago goodness which look i was maybe so strong and i survived but whenever I go to the doctor and ask him for like physical and that blood test, they never found it. They never find it. I know. That's the thing. You know, and I, I go to civilian doctors as well as to the VA health system. And just, I guess I'm kind of a hypochondriac when it comes to that. But uh, yeah, I still find that uh, the treatments that I've been able to do for myself have brought me to a greater sense of well-being, uh, especially with regard to detoxification and everything, um, than than anything that I've done with uh, um, through conventional medicines. That's like David Adlerstein. How's it going, Dave?
Yeah, so I would just suggest, you know, take it easy over the weekend, drink a lot of water. Um, your body is going to be uh, attempting to detoxify itself a lot. So you want to get that, uh, you want to give your body every chance that it can to, uh, to detox. long time ago, about 22 years ago. I don't know what's happened to me, but I was not thirsty. Used to before I was drinking like, but of course I like uh, soda, Coke. I was like working and drinking this. One liter it was easy, Stink, boom, empty. Yes. But after a while, yeah. watching that, when I try to drink in water, the water was growing in my mouth. I, I, I couldn't tell. That's right. And I don't know what's happening. This was for a while. I finally recognized, man, your body needs the water. And I was drinking the water, so like pushing myself. Mm -hmm. and, and, and glass by glass, I put some lemon in it. And finally, finally, now I'm calculating. Of course, maybe almost like one and a half liter a day I drink the water, okay? Mm -hmm. But I hear that you should be drinking two liters of water. Jesus. Yeah, I can drink in maybe different stuff, like vodka or, or whiskey, but regular water, man, I could not believe it. But this is kind of a situation that I remember. This was 20 years something ago. And you, whenever you find yourself where the water gives you a little bit of a tummy ache, right? A little bit of a stomach ache, then you know you're very dehydrated because your your body really needs the water. Yeah, but you should be drinking. Yes. But, uh, you, you, it doesn't. You, it looks like the your body is telling why you're drinking. You, you know, one glass is enough. You're full. Right, right, right. Because because you, you because at that point you're just ingesting it so that you can hydrate your body altogether overall. You know. But no, you should maintain hydration at all times. Uh, you know, drink every every hour. Drink a little bit of water every hour. I wanna. Be the best uh, not eating anything, even uh, like. Oh, this. don't fast. No. Already? No, no, don't fast. Not yet. I mean, I think fasting is good, right? But only, it sounds crazy to say this, but only when you've had enough to eat, right? <laughs> oh, okay. 
was guessing yesterday my wife bought a, a chicken in Costco. Yeah. And I know, of course, it's waiting for me. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Enjoy your food. Oh, okay. Eat well. Your body is trying to detox. Eat oh. well, drink well, drink a lot of water. You know, just try to stay away from the toxic stuff. You know what I mean? But then again, it is the weekend. So, I mean, I can't really judge because I'll probably have a couple of IPAs myself. But still, you know. But just make sure that whatever you take, you know, if you have a glass of wine, have two glasses of water afterward, you know. Uh, I don't like so much wine. But, you know, yeah. It's heavy for your stomach. Oh, it's very heavy. Very hairy for your pancreas, yeah. When it's a uh, hot day, summertime, of course, after work, when I come out, I like to drink uh, uh, some beer. Like, mm -hmm. you know, but now when coming cold, uh, better is a uh, shot of some vodka whiskey. Yeah, much quicker. Yeah. And you can you can keep your body hydrated, you know? Yeah, probably it's not too big because the, the drinking the beer, you know, it looks like it blows. Nice clothes, yes, right? of course. And it and, and it and it gives you a beer belly. Inflames the liver. So in the meantime, while this is winding down, you still see flashing. It's going to be timing you until the end of your um, until the end of your uh, session. I'm going to go get some water. I'm going to have to put some water into this jug oh, here for my foot. Uh, for the foot bed. bath, exactly. I'm okay, going to have to. Before that, I can go to the restroom. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, oh, you have to because I'm sure that uh, the kidney magnets are filling up your liver. I'm with bladder. I can, so I can still hold in about five, ten minutes. Five, ten minutes. Okay, well, let me go get some water. Okay. And then when I'm done, then you'll be done. And, yeah, I'll be right back.
I am ready. To I know you're ready. Yes. <laughs> Man. Yeah, it's still in your bladder. Yeah, the kidneys. Sorry about it. I know you got a lot of hair here. <laughs> it's okay. Like ripping off a band aid. Go really quick over there. Okay. Use the one on the right hand side, okay? Okay. Because on the left hand side, I'm still filling up with water for you. Okay. The key is on the big spoon. You know where it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, it really detoxes. Now the detox has begun. It's going to be going this, going on like this for four days. Okay. So give your body every chance it can to flush out all the toxins. No problem. I have some uh, lemon tree in my... Uh, Backyard? Yes, yeah, so, so that's what I use. It. Yes. Lemon water. Yes, sir. Alkaline your body. Okay, so the, the key is, you know where the key is? Just right on top of the cup. Okay. Yeah. All right, Henry, let's go make it. Because right. shit, sometimes, you know, <laughs> oh, H is coming. No, I know. I'll be on. I'll, I'll be using the one on the left to fill up the water. So just use the, the one on the right. And I will be right back. I'm going to get some water.
biomechanical care therapy. Um, yes. Uh, what, what, what condition are you trying to address? to schedule an, an appointment. so that we can help to rid the body of the toxins that we're cleansing it from with biomagnetism. Yeah, yeah. So, well, we're open tomorrow morning if you'd like to come at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you know where we're located?
about 45 minutes east on the 10. Yeah. Come all the way out to the Inland Empire to Upland on the 10 freeway. Get off on uh, Mountain Avenue and come north on Mountain toward the mountain, toward Mount Baldy. And right before you reach Foothill Boulevard, turn into the parking lot of that's on Foothill. Uh, you'll see Burger King and FedEx and whatnot. And um, and then just come to Suite D1. We're at 916 North Mountain Avenue. Suite D as in dated one. And Upland, California, 91786. Drink a lot of water. Make sure you are very well hydrated. That's I cannot stress that enough. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, well, I actually have videos on YouTube explaining explaining uh how it works. Yeah. Yeah, look up BiomedRx TV and you'll see my face on it. And I have I have about three videos right now uh teaching the basics of biomagnetic paratherapy. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, we'll be here at 10 a.m. tomorrow if you want to come by. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. So okay, so now you can see we're started here. We're up to 0 0.5 on your current right so we're going to on the ionization we're going to try to raise that up to between 1.2 and 1.6 right and it's going oh, in a so negative yes it's going in a negative direction you can see the bubbles coming right just move your feet a little bit don't splash it around but just move your feet a little just move your feet I around i not see it because uh, yeah uh, okay. you see so now you can see it's raising up 0 0.6. It's going to reach 0 0.1, 0 0.2. But now you can see the water is going to begin to discolorate. It's going to turn brown. Let me show you the colors of everything that's going to come out of your feet. Black is going to come from the liver. And I got rid of a lot from my liver. Okay. Black flecks are heavy metals. Same as what the bentonite clay is going to take out of you. Brown is going to be from your liver, smoking, cellular debris, okay? Dark green from the gallbladder, light green from the pancreas, orange from the joints. So if you have any arthritis at all, any rheumatism, it's going to come out, it's going to look orange. Red flex if you have any blood clot material, okay? Uh, white cheese, most likely yeast white foam from the lymphatic system. I had a lot of inflammation in my lymphatic system. It actually changed the way my face looked. And, and this protocol of detoxification took care of that very well for me. This is the best color going to be the water. We will see you when come up. Yes, sir. Okay. You will see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is, huh? You'll feel better, too. You'll feel it. Yeah, just drink the drink a lot of water and let you let it flush through. But you you will definitely feel it. I feel it's something like that uh, when you use honey. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mix some water or something to put on your skin. Also. Really? And this kind of, how we call Matera ropes, uh -huh. they're gonna, because you're not eating sweet or something, they're gonna come from your body out. That's what I hear. Really? That's kind of nice. Thing.
Kirag, nice. Kirag. I'm gonna look it up. Okay. Yeah, yeah some Russian people. They Honey it. detox, huh? Yeah. You know, I did. I have a Russian friend, um, uh, Irina uh, Brodsky, and she is a biomagnetist like me, right? She gave me leeches, leech therapy. Leech. Leech. The animals that <laughs> little look like worms. Uh -huh. The animals they suck blood and they put their serum into your blood mm -hmm. and their serum contains sedatives, opioids and healthy bacteria that actually go in and kill bad bacteria. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, in Russia they use a device <coughs> that does the same thing that you're doing, but it is two plates. Like you lie on one plate and another one comes down like a sandwich. And it's like physically forcing two negative magnets together with your body in between. And it forces negative ions into the body. And they say <coughs> that they're able to cure more than half of the patients with that machine alone. Yeah, that's what I said. Something like that. Your explanation. Mm -hmm. Because I actually see, I concern some things like that. And finally, I'm like looking natural because when I'm done the test from regular doctors and I know they looking just to make operation right they're motivated just to sell their drug that they're that they're paid to sell or to make money doing surgery on someone exactly. even if that person doesn't need it yeah. you so should not be incentivized so right no you should not be incentivized to no no, to, to cut people open if they don't need it. My friend, he lost his hip and they fixed by operation. And so after a year later, he tried to do other. So imagine that, but he doesn't accept it. Three times they pulled him, him out and now they make the last operation. I hope it's a piece. The, but but they accepted the first one, but not the second one. Yes, the second one. But it doesn't. I think so the body doesn't accept the material. That he did. That's what it is. I think so. <clears throat> it might be different from this from the first material. Possible. It has to be. Yeah. Should it has to be different, different material or different coating yes. on the metal or something. But things like that. If you done, you should be uh, clean your body, and that's what God give your body. Right. The body should be against whole thing. Of course. It should that's be rejecting it. Yes, it's a foreign object. Yeah, you know, that's like alcohol. You're drinking, you're drunk, the next day, everything is flush out. Right. Or right? the same thing is other things. Right. Exactly. Yeah, it's all natural. This is improve the body's ability to eliminate. Oh, you change color with it. Aha, uh -huh. you I see that, huh? <laughs> I don't use blood. Oh yeah. <laughs> making pee, yes. Right? It's gonna smell like urine too. Oh, really? it, it, yes. I've worked on dialysis equipment for thirty years. That's okay. Yeah. I, yeah. And 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 it, it the smell is exactly the smell of dialysis. Uh what you pour out when you pour out a multi pass dialysis machine. So that's normal and good reaction? Absolutely. Okay. That's exactly what you need. Okay. That means it's working. Because I'd like to know how we're going to be complete. That help you. Oh, you're going to see a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're going to see black from the liver. You're going to see um, orange from your joints. Mm -hmm. So now it's going to be. Everything that we... Uh, Strengthened right now with the magnets is all coming out now. Everything that we dislodge with magnets is all being purged now. From your liver, from your kidneys, the pancreas. That is good though. I mean, because you haven't, what is this? It's only two minutes? No, it's only been, yeah, it's only been eight minutes, 52 minutes left. And you've got quite a, quite a detox going already. Not 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 very quickly. 
No, 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 no. Not very quickly. Because this is totally coming from the uh, magnet inside. That's what I see. It is. It's no, well, well. The 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 ionization does change the color of the water by itself. So even if you put it in by itself, it's going to change, right? The color of the water. The specific stuff that comes out of you, you'll see. You'll see according to the chart. Because if you put it in water by itself, it will produce uh, just, it, it will produce like a tea color. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will turn it. It will change it. But that doesn't mean that, that it's not detoxing you as well. Inside is minus or positive? Negative. Negative. This is positive. That's right. Oh, it's yeah. like, like so it's pulling, it's attracting all of the toxins that are positive oh, like the in, the, the into the water. water. I see. Yeah, because over there, you know, the cells. Like dialysis. Yeah, and later when the cells are uh, dependent, and they, uh, yeah. they get dead. They get dead, exactly. So it's pulling them out. It's pulling all the positively charged toxins out of your body. And it's infusing your body with, uh, okay, 0.9. Let's add a little bit more salt. It's infusing your body with negative ions, electrons, which is what your body needs. Okay, now switch that around a little bit. Yeah. Now we're raising the ionization. 1.1. Yes. 1.2. Perfect. Yes. Yep. 1.2 to 1.6 is where you want it. Looking good. Yeah? yeah. You like sodium? Uh-huh. But so far I hear it about these things. To drinking water with, uh, oh, just a little sodium yeah a little sodium, sodium. Yeah, little. replenish your sodium i have students and people that follow followers oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. father passed away when I was 78 mm. and look uh, he got a prostate but he never touched it because it for his age uh, will be doesn't change nothing yeah so he smoked all night imagine that he smoked 60 cigarettes a day and Three he packs. doesn't have any cancer for that yeah but of course he was really but if you lived that long yeah but he was really alive yeah he smoked this time. And the uh, other story is finally when uh, this guy he passed away by stroke. That's what this this was. And uh funny thing was because when they he got a few stroke, he was always in the hospital, he survived. They bring him home and one day my mom was telling me, I don't know what was happening. He go on the patio and he forgot his smoking. He stopped smoking for last one or two years before he died. He even doesn't need it, but huh. he got a Parkinson. Huh. Imagine that. Yeah. Sure. My mom hate smoke. Yeah. She was not smoking. Father was smoking. So that is the situation. And finally, when he stopped smoking, my mom was so surprised. He said, Always I fight with him to be not small, but finally God give me. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, sometimes he has to tell us with an illness. 
to stop, you know. Is that a message comes though? How you looking? More brown, more flakes. Okay. Still pee. Still I, pee. Exactly. I'm ready to go making pee. That is the story. Now I can make more pee here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, you got to use the bathroom again. Yeah. Well, it's ionizing you now, man. So believe me, you're going to feel it in your calves. You're going to feel the ions in your legs. Yes, you're going to feel them in your lower legs. You're going to feel them in your calves. Uh, you're going to feel the energy. Yeah. Oh no! If you gotta go, you can go. Really? Yeah, you can come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, oh. soon, because as soon as you unplug it, just just keep this on your wrist, okay? Oh, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just keep it on your wrist. Yeah, yeah. Because look, as soon as you unplug it, the time stops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. no. That's okay. You can you can pause it and come back. Okay, sir. Absolutely, absolutely. That's what you're doing. You're detoxing. It's no problem. No problem. Detox is detox. And my client here has been going through, I gave him the, uh, yeah, okay, hold on. So yes, my my client is um, he came to me for a detox procedure, and I gave him the uh, what we call the top ten detox, where you strengthen the function of the liver, the kidney, the pancreas, the gallbladder, um, the lungs, uh, the large intestine, and the small intestines. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, so that definitely works on boosting your body's ability to detoxify itself. And what happens is that uh, you have to use the bathroom. <laughs> As a result, you have to use the bathroom. And right now my client has to use the restroom. Um, so, which is good. That's part of what we do here. <laughs> Thank you for joining everyone. I really appreciate it. Remember, if you guys have any questions that you'd like to ask me, feel free to ask, okay?
Yeah, yeah. Just let, let your body keep cleansing. Yes. Yeah. 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 So you live in this area, in Orange County? Yeah. Nice. Traffic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the traffic back and forth is crazy. Yeah, today, Friday. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. I'm so surprised when people leave this area, like uh, my way. I work in Santa Ana, so mm -hmm. that's good. But 57 is the traffic. Like 91 is the traffic. And some friends they. Uh, they live over there. So, oh, Jesus. oh I, I would have so many more clients if I were in Orange County, man. Oh, really? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there's a lot of business for uh, holistic health in Orange County. Probably. Yeah. yeah. But uh, here, it's, I know 57 last time I was, somebody invited us for it was Riverside. That's what I remember the time when actually I was coming to you. Really? And you know how much time we drove it? Three hours. Three hours? Yes. That's Jeez. I couldn't believe it. That's, everything was stuck and stuck. And Incredible. Stuck. Yeah. Saturday. It was Saturday. Crazy. It's America. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's why we can't take siestas like they do in Spain, because we got to drive on the freeway just to get to and from work. Imagine if we had four rush hours instead of two. Yes, I could. We would never. Oh, yeah. But in Spain, and yeah, they, they could take time off in the middle of the day. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'm a Knight of Columbus. Yeah. My wife will be proud of you. Yeah, she's Catholic too? Yes. Okay. Bless you. Yeah, I teach my son, man. I, I, I volunteer in church uh, with my son. He's 12. So we got to give him the example of service, you know? So That's right. If we provide us life, how we sh how he requests from us, he see that. But of course. He, of course, we are only human. We can try. Our, we our fail members. sometimes, right? Exactly. Yeah, we fail. <laughs> we fail, but I mean, you know, we still, we still do. We still try to create God's paradise on earth. And that's the difference. Lo men who have logos and men who do not have logos, and they they never really become men because they never realize that it is their responsibility to create God's paradise on earth. We're the men, the male species, the male gender of the human species, which is the dominant animal of the planet. So it's our responsibility when a man reaches a certain age, he develops, some men develop logos and they realize that, you know, yeah, we're not perfect, but you know what? We're still the people who are working toward bringing good to the world. Yeah, the time, that's a short time. It's very short time in life. Yeah. Yes. Especially now, when I'm 60, the time last three, four years, all was coming to me like that. Yeah. Now I catch this time yeah. Oh, it's the job. Like I'm actually with you, but 
doctor, uh, regular doctor, make the blood test, all physical, and see the results. Mm -hmm. I see the results, so good, blood test fine, everything fine, your prostate fine, lungs fine, you married? Yeah, 15 years with the same woman. It's good. So you should be with 100 years. Not bad. But for what? Yeah. Yeah, right? But for what? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but for I what? Know, <laughs> there, you know? But for, I know, for what? Yeah. Uh, so you should be with 100 years. It's true. It's true. Yes. Yeah. If you actually help me and you're 90 years old and you pass away, naturally, different story. But if you're 90 years old, but you're 10 years spent in the bed. Right. Yeah. This is something. That yeah. Matters. That makes you wonder. Quality of life. Sure. It's not how you die, it's how you live. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. If I go there, I might be with you. You were born to be active, to be working. Right. But if you are not working, so from what you are in. Right. And if you don't feel that sense of purpose, it'll take all of the energy out of you. It'll take all of the desire to live out because, and a man has to have a mountain to climb, you know, even if it's a small mountain, you know, when you get older, you get, you're not going to climb the big mountains that you did when you were younger, but you got to have something that you're focused on. Yeah, that's what uh, Jesus come with the message for us, mm -hmm. definitely what, see, you know, what they like it. Mm -hmm. And look, after three years, three, three, five, they put for him on the cross. Right. But we actually I'm sixty when well, I'm proud and God would he give me other two years. Right. Because normally I will be dead. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm with God, yes? Right. A lot of people if you look That's the salvation. Them, that's yes, the salvation right because, there. Uh, how you can believe it there is no God around. Oh, that's crazy. If I would be and now we will of course it's your choice, believe it or not. But you never know probably you will be with animal death. Right. But now, that's what it is. You have life. eternal life. Exactly. Thanks for you, and the way yeah. other people put around the uh, working naturally for helping you. Yes. I still believe for this way, and uh, natural doctor, of course, now is doctor with the paper. Mm -hmm. But in practice, like I'm a mechanic. For how long I'm doing my job, I am making my experience. Mm -hmm. Experience make your professional. Right. But don't be sure because God gives me many situations what I know so sure about that. Right. Imagine that coming something new. Mm -hmm. also. Oh, it's the same with fixing medical equipment. You're always scratching your head and trying to figure out new. Yeah. Show you later, just remind me what I have to show you. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so, life is like thanks God for the life to be a human, you know, because yeah, uh, many things around us is but we're not seen. Uh -huh. That's the other story, uh -huh. and that's we never know if it's better like we are or invisible, you know. Yes, but invisible will be good if we, we need to know of your like wife or children what they are doing which now is possible because look the gps will be done to your car or something. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You the car for the child and then you have your match for if, uh, she or he is going that's right yeah gonna cheat you or not which technology is good especially <coughs> with the internet, you, you can, can track them yeah yep. Oh, of course. Uh huh. 
Okay. You see the picture? What do you see? I see a bird and a flame. I see a bird on the left and a little baby bird in the in the in the nest. And I also see a flame on the right hand side. See, and they seem the crown of thorn of you Jesus. See, see, see. Oh, you see that? Yes. Yes, 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 wow. yes. Upside down. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you, see? That's beautiful, yeah. That's beautiful, yes. It yes. is. <laughs> That's the thought that comes from somewhere. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know, um, I forgot who said it, uh, but someone made a quote that the, your first sip of rationality might make you an atheist, but uh, God is waiting for you at the bottom of the glass. Well, it seems like the more you think about it, look at how coincidental it is, our existence on Earth, exactly. that we're, we're we're protected from the rays of the sun with the magnetosphere. It's almost like a, it's a terrarium. You know what I mean? Because we're not, we don't have shells, we don't have fur, we're not tough. You know what I mean? We, we're not. We don't have an elephant skin. Yes, somebody's dirty circumstances. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Somebody's jealous about the fact that 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 someone is protecting us in a such perfect splendor. And not only that, not only do we have a climate that supports life, it's actually comfortable. Because we could have it completely covered in snow and it would still support life, but that would just be the way we exist. We would never be able to go to the beach and walk around with no shirt on or that, that 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 this environment is perfectly perfectly suited for us as such delicate beings as we are to yeah especially in the United States look where we are oh yeah and thanks for, for God but I got a chance because if you know if I am from Europe from Poland uh, it was hard to move to uh, different country from me oh yeah because the uh, communist system started yes a, the Soviet Union it's crazy just met it and we left. If one day you have a situation, you can be in your house, you can be in the mountains, uh, touching snow, and same day you can go on the beach. Because oh, in California. in California, you can do okay. desert, so God, forest. <laughs> I never was expecting on my life, or yeah, I will be and I will be living here. Yeah, so of course, I was thinking, well, I can get a chance, you know, come, see, visit, maybe can work and come back. Yeah, look now. Now you're living in a place that most people consider paradise. And I go to friends. And yes. They, they want to go move out from the state. They want to heal. They want to heal. And I was just thinking and say, man, this is the place to stay. Yeah, but look how expensive. What that? What that? Well, that's the reason why, because of supply and demand. Of course, everybody who has any sense and a couple of dollars in their pocket, they're going to want to come to California too. I don't blame them. Always looks like curcuma come out. It does, huh? I, I sometimes I use the curcuma. You know what is curcuma? Right? Curcuma, uh, uh, yeah, I know you're talking about for food. Yes. Yeah. You use that, but not too much because otherwise uh, you change the color too. Yeah. But I like to do that. But ginger is good too. But ginger has different color. Looks like. Yeah. So that's now I see. Looks like it's rusty thing come. Yes, yes, and that's that's from your joints. That's our arthritis. That's really? yes, that's rheumatism. Uh, you know when I feel orange like that from uh, when when is now 
getting colder. Colder. Also, once a while, when I was, but this is funny thing, depends how was the sofa in my house. And I am like and watching TV. My, looks like legs was a little bit cranky, cranky, okay? Mm -hmm. But this is just once a while. That's symptoms. But summertime is fine. Yeah, yeah, it's com coming out. It's all coming out. So we flush the system, like I like call uh, in the car. If you go and have a transmission in order, mm -hmm. you need to flush the system. Flush it out. Yep. Same principle. You saw the fluid, how it's during uh, after like 34 or 90,000 miles? Flicks of metal in it. Oh, that's, that's uh, really dangerous because yeah. it means your transmission is so, wearing out. Yes. But <laughs> if it's just dark color, yeah. uh, of course, you pull a trailer or something, also overuse the uh, you know, power. Also, that's <clears> changing the color of the fluid. It's the metal of the <laughs> Too late. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Belts are going to start slipping. Mm -hmm. Also, better even sometimes doesn't uh, do the uh, flat <laughs> because when you have some metals and you see transmission, sometimes it's shifting uh, once a while wrong. Don't touch it, don't do the flash. <laughs> when you've done the flash, the transmission will be. Really? Will be. Okay. You know why? why? Because it's slippery. <laughs> Sand or something over there is dry, what is holding, yes. Uh -huh. But if you will be oil, what gonna be slippery? And you now you're lubricating yes. uh, the surfaces yes. that have already been plates have already been been ground down. Exactly. So it's the best uh, flushing the system every thirty thousand miles, because it will be fine for longer. But after hundred thousand miles, what people do, and they have a problems, and they have a bunch of And then they ruined it. Yeah. Yeah. I just replaced my transmission. My car is over a hundred, hundred and sixty something thousand, one sixty eight. Yeah, it was <clears throat> yeah, it was gone. It was gone. So, but the rest of the car is in excellent shape. So, yeah, it's going to give me another hundred out of it, hopefully. Cars is like the women. Only car when you change, will be satisfied with new one. Yeah. But women, if you start uh, changing, uh, she will be new. After three, six months or one year, will be the same like that. The same car as before. Yeah. <laughs> the same problems. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the same problems as the last one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but it's better changing cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And if you have a wife, keep the old one. <laughs> That's right. Devil, you know? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, some people they uh, have a different nationality. Yeah, no, it's different. It's challenging. It's challenging, man. It's challenging when you're the same, you know, in same culture, but you know, you try to. Mm -hmm. Oh, that makes all the difference in the world. Oh, absolutely. Even you know, you married too, like I see so far. We always have a once in a while some situation, but uh, so I've got to keep some situations where, you know, uh, after a while, you come back again. It's fine, yes? Yes. Like, like uh, people here easy do, they close the door and leave, yeah? Yeah. Does it make sense? No, it doesn't. So uh, it's the worst thing for the children, only. So oh, it's worse. Yeah, when it's no children, yeah, uh, you know, it's fine. It's just two people. Yes, but if it's children involved, then it's a shame because now you're affecting another person's development. 
and their relationships in the future with other people. Yes. <clears throat> so what you got, like 15, 26 minutes left? Not bad, not bad. How does it look? What colors you have? Oh. You have any black in there? You have bubbles? Oh, bubbles? You have bubbles? Oh, Good. What is the bubbles? Fat. Oh, you kidding? Mm -hmm. fat? No. no, no, but you have fat in your lymph system. Yeast. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Really? The bubbles? Bubbles would be. I was. Mostly, I was respecting more what that means. Uh, like uh, you drink some uh, stuff like uh, <laughs> or make the bubble oh, uh, so yeah <laughs> because bubbles yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, is that fat really yeah 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 fat fat and and yeast from your uh, in, from your lymph lymph system lymphatic system it's all coming out detox. Detoxification through magnets as well as through ionization um, with ionic foot bath. It, it, it'll work. It works. First time I'm, I'm actually the operation testing guy. I want to see if I can jump again or not. Mm. Used to, before I was this way, I know, HSH, instead of like you have a tables. Instead of going around the table, you know how was I doing? I was jumping. This was me used to before. Yeah. But now when I have to be jumping, you know, you know, I think about it. <laughs> <Forget> <laughs> that, you know. <laughs> They should be uh, making uh, shower like that. Oh, absolutely! That's yeah, right. yeah. Well, you know, um, uh, George Van Tassel years ago uh, was living in the Mojave Desert in Joshua Tree under the big stone. Uh, they call it Giant Rock. He used to live under the Giant Rock, and he had an airstrip out there. He said he was abducted by extraterrestrials and that they gave him the plans to build this building called the Integratron. Let me show it to you. The land that I'm buying is not far from there at all. And um, this building was funded by Howard Hughes. Okay. And yes, he says he was abducted in the 1940s. All right. Now, the way it was designed, this building has no metal in it. Nothing is metal. This is all wood and fiberglass. And it was designed so that once you got the top spinning, the magnetic field of the earth would have kept it spinning in perpetuity. The looking inside the top would have, because uh, it would have been a positive ion shower, would have been like looking into a time machine where we could see anything that happened in history. And if you entered this bottom port and came out, that your body would be showered with negative ions, the same thing that you're getting through your feet, but that you would come out physically younger. Oh. It would be like the fountain of youth machine. He, it, it, never was, it was never used the way he designed it because three days before it was supposed to be fired up, he was arrested here locally and died in police custody. Of course you know why. Of course. Of course. Of course. Okay. But here it is. I went out there. I visited the place. And, and, and is this still is existing over there? Of course. I just visited the, I just visited there a couple of weeks ago. How is the name? The Integratron. Integratron. It's in Landers, California. I'm 
you'd have to call them and uh, they allow you to come and take sound baths there. <laughs> well, we're going to be, you should come out to, somebody's asking me about the, the Integratron. You should come out to the Biometrics Joshua Tree uh, Resort that we're building out near the Integratron. Um, building, I, I'm purchasing a five acre piece of land to build a resort for this health center right near the Integratron. There's a lot of holistic health happening in the Joshua Tree National Park. Um, and in that area of the Mojave Desert, there are a lot of magnetic vortices. That's because this is all okay. Very it's high nice spiritual sense. place, yes. Okay. Very high. So we're building a place out in the desert um, so you can come out and enjoy uh, just being in the desert, do some stargazing, ch chill out in the jacuzzi, uh, get some holistic health therapies, uh, do some glamping, glamour camping. You can, you know, rent a tent and enjoy camping out under the stars. Integra Tron. Integra T R O N, not D. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, Integra Tron. Okay. Yes. Yes. George Van Tassel said that the extraterrestrials told him that um, uh, we don't live long enough as humans because oh, and it's because of that it's because we don't live long enough that we're we're suffering so much violence and, and turmoil because our leaders are babies by the time we reach the age of wisdom uh, where we die and so they gave him the technology of the integratron so that we could extend the life of our physical bodies. So something like that, uh, I heard uh, in uh, uh, did you hear in Romania uh, is uh, if you call our uh, internet Romania tunnel and you're gonna uh, see tunnels, Romania tunnels, you're gonna see over there was a giant uh, people <coughs> and wow and some. Something over there, that was something what you are talking about. They found a United States people go over there and they wanted to go inside. They couldn't do it. You know what they was doing? They tried to dig the drilling holes, couldn't do it. Finally, United States make the drill. They go in. And funny thing was, for the first three people which go to this building, they have a heart attack. Really? Finally, they found that some spiritual man or something like that, and he opened and he go without nothing. Really? Yes, and and and. Uh, Are these tunnels uh, like to the center of the earth, or? But you can see. Uh, may you go images? I'm gonna show which one okay. would be much more closer and better interesting is, and you're gonna see on mountains looks like something. Go 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 up. This is here. incredible. Yeah yeah. Oh, see that one? Who's the picture here? Here? No, 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 no. Right, right, right. Oh, that one, that one, the left. Oh, that one. No, no. This one. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Click that one and make yourself. Bukegi Mountain. Yes. Department of Zero things. Romania. The secret of Bukegi Mountain. Traditional. Oh, I'm definitely going to check this yes. out. Yes. Keep it. And uh, we're going to take a while because uh, you have a explanations of this thing. Oh my goodness. You know, there's a lot of talk about secret tunnels in different parts of the earth to the center of the earth mm -hmm. and that there are giant people living in the center. That's what I know about. That. Wow. They say that the 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 temple for the Tibetan monks, right? That 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 they say that that's the purpose that they exist is to guard the passageway to the center earth. And that and that the Dalai Lama is still connected to See. the leaders of the Central Earth. Incredible, you know. I've been looking at a lot of stuff concerning Central Earth. I'm so glad what we're talking about this thing. So Incredible! Uh, Look at the size of the skeleton. Exactly, this was. This, and, and these are the giants. The inside the tables would be having natural like this. The tables would be high. We have a tall tables. Yes. And what's funny thing about they found that 
I'm gonna uh, making the, the, gonna read the information was like I come over there and you can see everything what was happened everything was something like that but you have to be changing. yes did you, you hear about the pilot that went into the center of the earth when he flew over the North Pole or the South Pole, I believe? There was something about that, but they're not talking about it because they said they lost it lost or something. Yeah. yeah, they don't talk. Yeah, they bury it. Still, we have the secret about the, the triple uh, and the ocean. That's right. That's Atlantis but, but or the Bermuda, site of Atlantis. Yes. Bermuda or something. The, 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 the Bermuda Triangle, of course. Disappeared. Of course. And look at all of the hieroglyphics from lost civilizations that are under the Atlantic Ocean. Exactly. Yeah. That's what would see we live longer. Maybe we can catch information. We have to. My, we have I, to. Why are all of the world's leaders traveling to Antarctica? Why why is that so interesting and attractive? Exactly. What's going what's going on in Antarctica or beneath Antarctica that everyone is going there? Yeah. That's right. They say that if you travel for two weeks beneath the, the temple of the Dalai Lama, two weeks, 15 days actually, that you actually get to the other. Really? <coughs> two, weeks. two weeks. That's two weeks of spelunking deeper and deeper. About this place, you're going to see what they found. They found the three tunnels. One to the ground. One straight down. Walking. Yeah. One was to. Uh, Egypt or something. Incredible. Well, that's what probably we are talking about. Yes, absolutely. Very interesting, isn't it? Good afternoon. May I help you? I know. Oh, absolutely. This is a terrarium. I mean, this is. It is not. Uh, it is not. It's. It's not uh, a coincidence that that we're such fragile beings and that, you know, we're the dominant species on such a, uh, yeah, I want to know what they have in Area 51 too, Amber. Yeah, definitely, definitely, yes. Uh, it's going to be in the Joshua Tree. The retreat is going to be in a Joshua Tree in the Mojave Desert, about two hours east of here. And uh, it's going to be very nice. No, the Integratron is up, but it's not running as it was intended because the present owners, um, the present owners of the Integratron uh, use it to do sound baths. Because of the perfect dome shape, it, it reflects sound. It's got good acoustics and it's all wood. The floor is wood and the roof is wood and everything. So it, it is definitely worth uh, getting a, making a visit and uh, calling them and trying to schedule uh, a sound bath with them. Yes, Joshua Tree in the Mojave Desert. And I'm definitely going to be advertising it. I'm actually going to build an entirely different uh, website uh, for the resort once uh, once the resort is up. So I'm going to be um, Airbnb uh, tents for people who want to come out and glamour camp. And of course, there's going to be they're going to be cooking uh, and eating facilities and bathroom facilities out there. So it's not raw camping; it's glamping, glamour camping. But definitely uh, looking forward to having you come out. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yes, it'll pause. Let's pause. So by all means, I can't wait to uh, have you guys come out 
and enjoy the uh, the Biometrics Joshua Tree Resort. Uh, we're going to be doing everything that we do here at the at the Biometrics Health Center. We're going to have uh, biomagnetic paratherapy, um, neural feedback, which is EEG biofeedback, we, where we train your brain, uh, cranial electrotherapy stimulation, where we're actually uh, delivering a mild pulse of electricity to the ears and stimulating your brain cells to produce norepinephrine, epinephrine, serotonin, and all of your endorphins in perfect balance. And um, audiovisual brain entrainment, where we train the brain uh, uh, using, using flashes of light and colors, otherwise known as chromotherapy, combined with uh, isochronic tones, sounds, and um, uh, binaural beats. I think we've talked about binaural beats uh, before. Um, we're going to also incorporate um, hyperbaric oxygen therapy and pulse electromagnetic field therapy. Um, we're going to do a little bit of uh, sensory deprivation, isolation, and flotation tanks. And um, I was thinking about maybe a cryo sauna, but the jury is still out. I'm trying to determine whether or not uh, the cryo sauna is going to be safe and worth it. We definitely want to include um, vitamin, multivitamin IV injections because a lot of people go out to the desert and uh, enjoy themselves with various substances and but they don't realize that the desert is the desert and that they're going to be dehydrated if they don't um, hydrate and fortify their bodies with uh, vitamins and nutrients. So we're going to have all of these things available um, at the biometrics uh, retreat. Look forward to inviting you guys out. Amber, um, I'm actually providing therapy for, uh, 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 what do you call this, testimonials.
What does the water look like? Bumbling. Uh huh. I'm thinking. The liver. Mm-hmm. Cholesterol. Cholesterol, old alcohol. No, alcohol actually for two, three days, I not touch it. Was, uh, yeah? Uh, no, because sometimes, like, we can come, you know, I'm not uh, avoiding that, okay? Yeah. With me, it's okay. Because this is helping me a lot. Even if I will be not drinking, believe me, I will be uh, really dead or go sick. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I remember when I was just drinking, like, enough, okay? Enough that it's like bother for you, bother for me, how big it, okay? Yeah. Because the next three days, man, I was good after. But after three days, coming exhausting, exhausting. Yeah. That's what was my time. Yeah. Yeah, your body has a way of telling you when it's time to, when it's time to let it go. The bumbling is funny for me because you see, oh, shit, okay? You see? Oh, one more thing, I remind myself about the tunnels. The other uh, side you can go, it's named Schneider uh, Tunnels. Schneider Tunnels? That? Is that in Germany? Uh, no, this was here. But this uh, guy, his name, his name is, looks like really? Schneider Tunnels. And you're going to see, you're going to see the picture again about him. You're going to see interesting what this guy's got a technology. And, and it's some video for YouTube, you can watch it. And the guy was explaining, oh, exactly, the tunnels. And the tunnels, how they can do under the ground technology, what they have it. They drilling tunnels like this building about one, two kilometers every day. Yeah. And they found it some. Yeah. Uh, and there are entire cities now that yes. the government is keeping underground. Yes, and they stop secret. Mm -hmm. But uh, Schneider was killed by the, uh, I think so. He was, yeah. Because he was doing the job of making it quick. Because, uh, <laughs> Phil Schneider, yeah. Yes. This is very interesting about him, too. Oh, so he found the man made tunnels that the government is, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah, money is uh, a. Yeah, yeah. But the uh, question is, what kind of technology that he explained they carry and they do because they can drill like titanium, other things is hard, yes? But they have equipment which is really is something from the space, I think. Inhabitants of the hollow of the earth. A lot of things right now available on the internet to watch it, like we used to record, you have to read the uh, papers, newspaper, and you know, we need to go to other country. But this was long, long distance. But now, look, you're clicking and you can spend it all day. Yeah, and yeah, sometimes you're wasting time, but if but you're still, doing, you're learning, you're learning, you're learning. People talking. yeah. But they're gonna shut down this system uh, very soon. Oh yeah, if, they're trying. Because, they're trying to control now. Yes. They're trying to control the internet, and they can't. Yeah. <laughs> they can't. It's just too big. Yeah. And like we we're talking about the God, Rosalind. You say that the Freemasons are cooperating with them. Yeah, they say because of the um, because of the magnetic energy inside the Earth that they live seven hundred years and they're ten feet tall and or twenty. Yeah, I know. I've heard about it. In other story, they found it over there. The white powder. You know what kind of white powder? Whatever. Monoatomic gold. Yes, what you later uh, 
you become younger, it looks like buckling. Yeah. That's what the yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, also good luck. I'm good reading today. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I found that a uh, year ago. Yeah. And I don't know from where, but my mind, for some reason, come to me, and I found it also. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. And they talk about the great beyond, you know, uh, Walt Disney was friends with one of the world's top uh, quantum physicists, uh, astrophysicists. And on Walt Disney's tombstone, he has a, a Bible quote that said, um, and, and I'm, I'm only paraphrasing here, but um, uh, God is the master of all that exists, and the firmament is his handiwork. Oh. Like there's a dome over the earth, right? The firmament. Now, every time you look at Disney, what do they always do? They always draw that dome yes. over the castle and everything. Yeah. It's like yeah. they show the whole world, yeah. Yeah. and the last thing they show is... Yeah, the the dome yeah. that covers it, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Epcot Center. It's just a big dome, you know, and you wonder, oh, there you go. We made it, yeah. You got it. You did it an hour. What's the, what's the actually of the colors? Well, it should be pretty, pretty nasty. Here you go. Just uh, you're going to be wiping that brown stuff off your feet. And uh, yeah, and uh and we're just going to dump that stuff out. What colors do you have in that water? It's uh, brown mostly, the bumbling, and something else. You said it should be black, but I don't see black. The black would be red. It, it, no, well, it would just be liver. I mean, but like you said, if you if you haven't had any, um, if you haven't had any alcohol in a while, then then, then you're not going to see too much black. Oh. You know. My alcohol gonna be a lot. Yeah, alcohol is gonna I, come I'm up. Telling the truth, for the last two days I was not. So, so yeah, you don't. You, you, you're, no. you're doing good. Okay. You're doing good on that. Because last was I was the week of Saturday. Uh, I, I flushed my system good. Really. Yeah. So if you have a good detox, what, what colors are they? Orange. Yes. Yes. That's all brown. That's all from. Yeah. That's liver toxin as well. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing good. You're doing very good. So I'm not dead yet, okay? No, 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 no. You're doing very well. It looks like I will be drinking too much coffee, but I'm not coffee guy. No, but coffee's good. Coffee's got a lot of antioxidants. Oh, really? Absolutely. Coffee's a plant product. But it's toxic. Not really. Because look, if I you drink the coffee, oh man, the restroom. That's because it's making you detox. Yeah, so that caffeine is stimulating. Yes, coffee enemas are really good. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Also, that's what is better, beer or coffee drinking? I would start with coffee in the morning and then have a beer in the evening. <laughs> or before dinner. Or before dinner. Appetite, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to like coffee, but I know my wife uh, like coffee, but finally she now started to see become diet too. Yes. To be actually losing weight. Yeah. But uh, the coffee for her was, oh, man, she's feel the smell. Yeah. She's sick. Yeah. So, okay, just, just, take, just take the band off and, yeah, you're doing good, man. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Things we were talking, uh, see about the, 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 the life and everything. Yeah, and I, have, I have fans that are chiming in. Yeah, but other story is uh, uh, I pick up why people long time ago when they escape to the ground uh -huh. and they live over there, why they make the tunnels? Well, a lot of people, there was a story of um, a lot of people. Let me let me cut this video. <laughs> um, 